Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and in today's episode, our focus is on 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 12-17, through 17, and the assurance that you are not beyond redemption. For Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Ever feel like you've done something that's beyond forgiveness? Let's talk about that. Today we're looking at 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 12-17, through 17, and the words of Paul, which read, I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength, that he considered me faithful, appointing me to his service. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. If you aren't familiar with Paul's conversion story, go back to Acts chapter 9 and read it through. Back then, his name was Saul, and he was on a mission to rid the world of the followers of Christ. By his own admission in our scripture passage today, he was a blasphemer, a persecutor, and a violent man. That all changed when he encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus. Saul's name was changed to Paul, and he was charged with preaching the gospel of Christ to the Gentiles and saving souls for the kingdom. There are 27 books in the New Testament. Thirteen of them were written by Paul. That's quite a turnaround. After his conversion, Paul became a man on fire for Jesus and never shied away from sharing what the Lord had done for him to help others see and understand that they too could be saved and redeemed regardless of their past. And that is the message in today's passage. We often fall victim to the lies of the enemy, whispering in our ear that what we've done can't be redeemed, that our sins are too great, that we don't deserve forgiveness, that we are or have somehow become unlovable and unworthy. And that is exactly what the devil wants you to believe. He wants you to believe that you aren't good enough, that you've really messed up this time, that there's no going back after what you've done. But my friends, those are all lies. The redemption power of Jesus extends far beyond any limitations we try to put on it. Jesus is not concerned with your past and where you've come from. He's concerned with what's in your heart right now. 
and where he wants to take you next. Jesus Christ was fully God and fully man when he walked this earth, one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God is love, and love covers a multitude of sins. His sacrifice on the cross to pay the ransom for sin for the whole of humanity, for the entire human race, does not exclude you. God, in his infinite wisdom, mercy, grace, and love, provided a way for us to come to him, to receive the forgiveness that none of us deserve, and yet he freely gives it to all who would believe in him and receive the gift of eternal life. He isn't stingy with the gift of forgiveness. And he isn't storing up all your past sins so he can throw them back in your face when you come to him. You are precious to him. And he will move heaven and earth to win your heart, to have you with him for eternity. So my beautiful, beautiful friend, if you find yourself in a place where you don't think you can be forgiven, please, please hear my heart when I tell you, I know without one single doubt that you can. You are not beyond redemption. As long as there is breath in your lungs, it's not too late. Turn back to the God who loves you. Cry out to Jesus. Give him your heart and allow him to give you the gift of eternal life. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today. It truly is such a joy to be on this journey with you. I'd love to know your thoughts on today's episode and how this passage has impacted you. So leave me a comment and let me know. And don't forget to share this episode out with a friend. You never know who may need to hear the message shared today. Join me for our next episode where we'll be digging into Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 through 24, to talk about the great love and faithfulness of our Lord. Until then! Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.